Now that our scene has all these zombies in it, we want to be able to kill these zombies, but we can't kill these zombies unless we have weapons, and we can't get weapons until we have our pickups system ready. So let's start making our randomized pickups system. The way we could start that off is let's just go over to our player. Let's just take a look at our player, right? Not going to do anything with the player just yet, but just for reference, what we want to do is create a 3D object sphere. And I'm going to call this random pickup. The reason I picked a sphere is so it comes with a collider and we can get an idea of how big our pickup is because obviously we don't want something this tiny where the player is trying to navigate around a little space just to grab a weapon. All right, so something like this size is pretty good. Make it nice and easy to pick up. Then I'm going to get rid of this mesh renderer and this mesh filter. Okay, so we're just left with this sphere collider. I'm gonna set it to is trigger so the player can pass through it and set off a trigger. And I'm gonna create a new tag. A list of tags, I'm gonna hit this plus button. We're gonna call this pickup. Okay, now with the random pickup selected, we could tag it with that new tag, pickup. Now I'm gonna add an FSM and I'm gonna call this pickup. Now here in our pickup FSM, it's gonna have an initialization state. And then we'll add another state where, where it'll just spin around. We'll call this spin. Okay, so in this initialization state, we'll have a array get random. And let's make a new array. We'll call this pickups array. Okay, and it'll be game objects. That'll be the type of array it is. So this will hold, let's say, Two different types of weapons and in here is where we could drop in the weapon types so for now what I'll do is I'll come over here to prefabs folder create a new folder and call this weapons and then inside of our weapons folder this is where we'll put the weapons prefabs that our character will be able to pick up what I could do for now is come over here 3d object let's just do a cube and we'll call this pistol and I'm gonna move this up here and I'm gonna drag and drop it in like that okay so now we have a prefab of a pistol and then I'm actually gonna duplicate that but gonna unpack it completely so we have something else and I'll call this one machine gun and then I'll drop it in here too so that's also a prefab right and I'm just gonna get rid of these ones from the scene so in this random pickup, I can now drop in our pistol and machine gun into that pickups array. So these are the two options that we can have. So in this first state, when this array get random, we could select our pickups array and it'll randomly pick one of these two from that array and it'll store it in a new value that we can call random pickup. Okay, and once that's done, add a little finished event. It'll come down here to spin and in spin, we're gonna have a rotate action. So this rotate action will just make our pickup rotate around just to draw the player's attention. So if you come up here to rotate it, if you rotate it, you'll see that we are modifying our Y axis. So what we can do is tell the Y axis to rotate at something like five units per second, and that's every frame, and that's in self space. Now we won't see anything just yet. So what we could do is up here in our initialized state, we do a create object and the game object we'll create will be our random pickup and for the parent it will be this random pickup game object so what we could do is first make this into a prefab that way we make sure that all of our logic checks out and we're not referencing scene objects so I'll come here to our prefabs folder and then drag and drop this random pickup in here to make it into a prefab okay so now that we have our random pickup prefab you can click this little arrow over here to go inside of it. And now inside, I can drag and drop this random pickup into the parent and it'll only ever be referencing itself. So it gets a random object, a pistol or machine gun, and then it creates it. It parents it to the random pickup. And we want it to also spawn at that same point too. So the spawn point is also the same. So now if we go back to our scene, we should be able to run this and see the cube pop up, which is either our pistol or machine gun. 
boom, there you go. And we can see it's slowly spinning here. Could probably make that spin a little faster. Let's try something like 15, maybe even 35. There we go, 35 works. Okay, so I'm gonna stop the scene and I'll go into the prefab, head over to spin, change this to 35 instead. And we're looking pretty good. Now we want it so we can actually pick this thing up. But instead of doing that from the prefab itself, we're gonna set up a system on our player. So if we come over to our player game object, we can add a new component, FSM. We're gonna call this pickups. Let's edit. Now in our player pickups, we're gonna add in a collision event. And it's gonna be checking from our owner if it collides with something and the on collision enter would work just fine if we were using a collider, but actually we're using a character controller. So in our case, we're gonna to wanna to change this to on controller collider hit. And we're gonna be checking for things tagged with pickup and then it'll send the event next. We'll add that in and this will get sent off to the next state. Now this first state we'll call waiting for pickup. And in this second state, we'll call it get pickup. Okay, so over here, we're just waiting for that. And when we do touch it, we're also gonna wanna store the thing that we just hit into a new variable. We'll call pickup hit. And in get pickup, this is where we're gonna wanna check which type of object we're grabbing. So we can have a get FSM game object. And let's specify the game object. Now, what we're gonna do is use this pickup hit variable, but just to kind of quickly run through setting up this action, a neat trick to use is to leave it as this mode where you can just drag and drop, and then drop in the prefab, and then that way you can select the FSM name and it'll give it to you automatically, and the variable name as well, it'll give it to us automatically. Now I can copy this, and in the store value, I'm gonna paste that in there. And now that that's all filled out, we could change this to the pickup hit. So that's just a nice way of quickly getting all this information since this sort of stuff is spelling and case sensitive. So now that we have that object, what we'll do is set parent. What we'll use this for is putting that pickup into the hand of the player. So we're gonna be setting the random pickup, which is either that pistol or machine gun. And we're gonna be setting it into the slot that our player holds things in. Now we haven't set that up yet, so let's go over here and open up this player and living cam and player camera. And we're gonna look at our game objects here. Let's give it some space. Now under the player camera, I'm gonna create a new 3D object cube, and I'm gonna call this attach, because this is where we're going to be attaching things that the player is holding. I'm also gonna shrink this down a little bit, and I'm gonna move it out in front of the camera. So we can see where objects will line up when the character is holding them. I'm also going to scooch it down to the side, maybe move it up a little bit more something like this. So that's about where our player will be holding objects. Okay, now that that's aligned, I can turn off this mesh renderer so it doesn't get in our way and then delete this box collider because that'll just cause some problems. So now we're just using it really as a point in space. So in our player game object, where we set the parent, we can now drag and drop our attach here. So what's gonna happen is we're gonna get that pickup, the pistol or the machine gun, and then we're gonna set its new parent as that attached spot. And we're gonna reset the local position and local rotation so it gets aligned perfectly with that attached spot. And it'll show up exactly where this cube is. So it'll look something very similar to that. So let's give it a shot. I'm gonna put this little out ahead of us so we can see it. Maybe put it back here so we don't get caught up with some zombies. Okay, and let's try running this. Okay, so it's spinning around and then I come over but I'm not grabbing it. Let's find out why. Random pickup set to his trigger. Ah, but our machine gun game object 
it has its box glider on it and uh we don't really want that because that's preventing us from touching the pickup so let's actually stop this and in our weapons let's uh let's make sure we remove these things i'm gonna remove this box glider and same thing with our pistol removing this box glider okay now back to our scene so now that these two things don't have colliders they won't prevent us from being able to touch our random pickup but it did also just dawn on me right now that we have a sphere collider on this that is set to is trigger. Now with this checked, that would mean that we would have to use trigger events to get this object. But right now we're using a collision event. So collision events are when you actually expect to collide with something, when two physical objects in the game world touch each other. With the sphere collider set to is trigger, it's saying that it is not acting as a physical thing in this world and that you could pass through it. And that's when you use trigger events. Trigger events are when you want something to enter into a space using colliders, not when they touch. So I'm gonna uncheck this is trigger. So it is a physical thing that we can collide with. And now on our player pickups, this collision event will detect that pickup. It'll actually collide with it and it'll send off this event. Okay, so let's see how this runs. Okay, so spinning around over here and touch it, and now it's added to our attach. Now, this is way too huge, obviously, right? It's uh, We just got this cube taking up most of our screen, but the problem here now is that our player pickups is stuck here, and if we come across any more pickups, we're not gonna be able to grab them. It's just stuck here, so we need to have this reset. Okay, so what'll happen first is we'll add a finish transition and it'll send back. But the problem with this is that once it sends back here, we can go and pick up that thing again. We'll hit the same pickup collider and it'll do this all over again. We don't want that. Instead, what we'll have is a destroy object after this set parent and the object we'll be destroying is the pickup hit. So that way we can only interact with that pickup the one time. All right, let's give that a go. Okay, so there's the pickup spinning around. And we got it. And as you can see, the pickup disappeared from our hierarchy and we're not able to interact with it a second time. All right, so now let's actually give this gun cube pistol thing some functionality so we can actually shoot these zombies.